The South African National Defence Force SANDF comprises the armed forces of South Africa. The commander of the SANDF is appointed by the President of South Africa from one of the armed services. They are in turn accountable to the Minister of Defence and military veterans of the Defence Department. The military as it exists today was created in 1994, following South Africa's first post-apartheid national elections and the adoption of a new constitution. It replaced the South African Defence Force and also integrated Umkanto we Sizwe guerrilla forces. History The SANDF took over the personnel and equipment from the SADF and integrated forces from the former Bantistan Homelands Forces, as well as personnel from the former guerrilla forces of some of the political parties involved in South Africa, such as the African National Congress's Umkanto We Sizwe, the Pan Africanist Congress's Azanian People's Liberation Army, and the self protection units of the Inkatha Freedom Party. As of 2004, the integration process was considered complete, with retaining personnel personnel, structure, and equipment from the SADF. However, due to integration problems, financial constraints, and other issues, the SANDF faced capability constraints. The South African Commando System was a civil militia active until 2008, based upon local units from the size of company to battalion. In its final years its role was to support the South African Police Service during internal operations. During such deployments the units came under SAP's control. According to the Defense Ministry's 2014 Defense Review, the SANDF is in a critical state of decline. Topic: <laughs> Rearmament. In 1999, a R30 billion, 4.8 billion dollars purchase of weaponry by the South African government was finalized, which has been subject to allegations of corruption. The South African Department of Defense's Strategic Defense Acquisition purchased frigates, submarines, light utility helicopters, lead-in fighter trainer and multirole combat aircraft. Domestic operations The SANDF is involved in a number of internal operations, including Safeguarding the Border Operation Corona Disaster Relief and Assistance Operation Chariot Safety and Security Operation Prosper Ridding the country of illegal weapons, drug dens, prostitution rings and other illegal activities Operation FIELA Topic <laughs> <laughs> International Operations The SANDF partakes in UN peacekeeping missions, mostly on the African continent. It also provides election security when needed. Topic: <laughs> Organization and structure. Overall command is vested in an officer designated chief of the SANDF, CSANDF. Appointed from any of the arms of service, he or she is the only person in the SANDF at the rank of general or admiral, and is accountable to the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, who heads the Department of Defense. The structure of the SANDF is depicted below. In 2010, a defense amendment bill created a permanent National Defense Force Service Commission NDFSC, a body that will advise the Minister of Defense and military veterans on the improvement of conditions of service of members of the South African National Defense Force SANDF. .Members of the commission include the Chiefs of the Service Arms, as well as the Chief of Defense Intelligence as well as the Chief of Joint Operations Four armed services make up the forces of the SANDF. South African Army South African Air Force South African Navy South African Military Health Service The Joint Operations Division is responsible for coordinating all joint operations involving any or all of the four services. The South African Special Forces Brigade is the only organic unit under the direct command of the Joint Operations Division. Unlike most other special forces it is not part of the Army or any other branch of the SANDF. Topic. Publications and access to records 
The SANDF publishes or provides links to documents describing its strategy, plans, performance, white papers and related government acts. Under the Promotion of Access to Information Act 2000 PIA, the SANDF also provides, access to current and historical information the SANDF holds and provides a manual with procedures for obtaining access. Some categories of records are, automatically available, that are, available without a person having to request access in terms of the PIA. These records can be accessed at the Department of Defense Archives and include operational records of the First World War, Second World War, Korean War, and establishment of the Union Defense Force 1912. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Personnel. On the 30th of April 2013, the demographics of service personnel were as follows: 54,503 70, 6% black 12,106 15, 7% white 9,687 12, 6% cholerids 872 1, 1% Asian The gender split in the SANDF is as follows 56,663 men 73.4% 20,505 women 26.6% the target for female recruits increased to 40% in 2010. Topic 2012 Defense Review The South African Defense Review 2012 is a policy review process carried out by a panel of experts, chaired by retired politician and former Minister of Defense, Rolf Meyer. The review was commissioned by Lindiwa Sisulu the then Minister of Defense and Military Veterans, in July 2011. The review was motivated by the need to correct the errors and shortcomings of the previous review. According to Defense Minister Lindiwa Sisulu, the old report was no longer relevant to South Africa's current situation. See also List of South African military chiefs Military history of South Africa Orders, decorations, and medals of South Africa <laughs>